Oh, okay. So, oh, so when you talk, I can see that right there. That's the volume thing. I never got to look at it. Oh like, wow! Yeah, like say, <laughs> am I separate or am I in there too? I think we both are the same. Hello. Okay. Yeah. That's us combined. Ready? Hello. <laughs> Hello, bro. It's me, and I'm here with the one and only. Liv. Yeah. Oh, Liv. Hello. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So for the people that don't know who you are, yes. can you explain to them who you are in the best way you feel like you can let them know who you are? Okay. Okay. Um, well, uh, my name is Liv Morgan and I am a WWE superstar. And that's probably like the best of me. <laughs> that's probably the best of me. I, uh, I like to be kind to people and I wrestle. <laughs> So when you say superstar, what makes a superstar in the WWE? What's the difference when you put super in front yeah, of it so versus I'm a WWE wrestler? Anyone could be a wrestler, right? It's like, just cause you play football. Well, are you in the NFL? You know, I fight. Well, like, are you in the UFC? So being a WWE superstar, it's you're a wrestler, but you're so much more than that because we do so much media, community work. Um, you know, doing things like here on the show. I'm not just a wrestler, you know, like we're, we're superstars. And so we try to give it that so importance. So the people in the WWE, that's just, you got to work your way up to be a superstar in the WWE? No, like once you're there, you're a superstar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause sometimes stuff are levels. And that's one thing that I, sure. I, I got to watch. I sit down and I watch the interview. Don't mind, I feel like you should definitely tune into it. I watched the documentary of Stone Cold Steve Austin Ooh. and how he rebranded himself so much to get in there from he had hair, he went bald, For and sure. he had a brand like the Steve Austin, how he got his name. And when he was in there, they was like, they fired him and then he was there and it was a back and back story. So then he ended up finally getting that moment mm -hmm. and it blew up. Yeah. And then I feel like it took levels to get to a superstar. For sure. From me watching and being a fan, because you got to put that grind into it. You're a WWE wrestler, but a superstar is like you're super and you're the star of the show. You're right. You grow into your superstar. And like you said, there's so many levels. Like you, you got like. Yeah, I, this was such a work in process. I thought that when I started, I was going to be so great because I grew up being a fan um, since I was five years old. So I thought like when I got signed, this is going to be amazing. I'm going to be champ right away. And it was so hard. How long <laughs> it, have you been doing it? Um, about 10 years. In 2014. Oh, yeah. So uh, when I just turned 20, I'd gotten signed and um, it was like the craziest mm -hmm. blessing of my whole entire life. And I've been doing it ever since and just trying to be great. There's levels, like you said, um, but we do have like a developmental territory called NXT. It's like JV compared to varsity. So mm. it's like NXT is JV, like a great JV, but not quite where Raw and SmackDown are, um, which are our, you know, main roster shows. Mm -hmm. So definitely levels. And you're always trying to level up though. Mm -hmm. So have you ever wrestled, like while you're wrestling, you had, like you farted? <laughs> no, but oh my gosh, Sarah, sorry, I love you. I had this tag team partner, Sarah, right? I was in a tag team called The Riot Squad and she would fart in the ring all the time. And, um, you know, it like stinks, but you have to kind of just like not react to it, but it's like disgusting, you know, but you just keep it moving. I've not farted in the ring, but I've been like farted on <laughs> in the ring. Yeah. Bunny Marco prize pick scene two, take six. Hello world. I want to introduce you to a prize pick. You download this app, you can pick your favorite players from any sports, even from Call of Duty. You pick more or less, and what you put in, you will receive. Don't forget to put Funny Marco. You put up 100, you will get 100. You get spin on, you know, a lot of, a lot of things happen. A lot of things happen in the ring. People is it poop. A, <laughs> is it a moment where it went far, you had to catch yourself, like, oh, okay. Like I was gonna poop? Not poop. Fart? No. Oh, no. wait, what are you talking about? Just like wrestling, like when you probably went into like, okay, like you got kind of like angry, like, okay, let me calm down. You, have you been in a um, match where it like went too far, elbow, and it's like, okay. No, because I like it. Uh -huh. I no, like I know you can like it, but some, what are somebody, it's been some moments where it's some stuff behind the scenes. Never felt truly disrespectful. No, like, what about accidentally? 
That's what's Oh, yeah. Ton. And I've it's been, like, I've been okay, knocked out on live TV. I've literally been like knocked out. Like, you know, like boxing video games, like when you're knocked out and it's like one, two, three. Yeah, that was me. And um, I was getting pens and I heard one, two, and I was like, what the hell? But I had just mm. been knocked out and didn't know. And it's a sign when you're in the WWE where you gotta, if you really get hurt, you gotta do a sign like with the shoulder of the referee, correct? Is that still a The referee does like a sign. Normally, if something goes bad, which, you know, hopefully it doesn't No, I'm saying, will you let him know? Like, oh, yeah, I'll let him know. And what is that code? Because remember, I'll usually, just be like, I'm, I'm fucked up. Like, I, I'm not good. No, usually, it's some stuff where you can't talk. Where if you pin in, because I had, like, I watched a lot of these documentaries. Yeah. Where it was sometimes where you have to do this. And the referee, oh, yeah. where so you can't say So they'll check on you. That. They'll be like, hey, you good? And you do like a little double squeeze. And that means like, I'm okay if we're not using our words. Normally, mm-hmm. they'll be like, I'm good, you know. But if they give me the double squeeze, I'll give it back. And that means I'm okay to move on. Mm-hmm. Whether you are or not. Okay. <laughs> so let's go way back. Okay. Back to college. Ooh, I didn't go to college. I did actually. I did a semester in college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I went to college. Uh, what was that? I went to college. What was your major? What was my major? Yeah. Uh, I went for uh, what's that, that shit called? Uh, what I went for? Uh, battery tech technician. Tech, oh shit! That sounds smart. Yeah, battery technician. Yeah, t- battery technician. So what I did was. I went to college for batteries where I tried like triple A and developed like triple C's. So, cause you know, you they batteries. only got double A. Yeah, yeah, double A, triple C's. Yeah, so I, I like double A. So from double A batteries, cause you never, you know, they don't have B, B batteries. No, I guess I don't really know anything about batteries. Yeah, so they don't have B batteries, but I was developing B batteries. So that's what we were still doing. Me and my brand are developing B batteries. Oh, wow. What's that batteries. do? Huh? What is, what's special about the B battery? Oh. It's, mm-hmm. it's going to work for certain things that okay. usually have like plugs. So like coffee pots, you know, you got to plug them up. Mm-hmm. But with the B batteries, you'll be able to put them in a coffee pot and don't use. We're trying to take away Doesn't plugs. Doesn't that happen already, though? Can you do that? Yeah. With coffee yeah. pots? It's okay. It's not the B battery, though. You keep yeah. working on it. TVs, you know, they got plugs. Yeah. B batteries are going TV. Okay. So in the back of TV. I like that. Yeah. So, and it's been a long story. So I was doing that for a minute. And then uh, I got a, uh, they tried to pay me to go to uh, USC mm-hmm. college. Mm-hmm. And they was going to pay me 1.5 million, but I turned it down. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Why? Just, just in the streets. Okay. Thugging. I was thugging real bad. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, shit, look at you now. Yeah, I'm still thugging. Look at you now. Yeah. <laughs> How, what would you say, what would you say your personality is if you can compare it to like a, I say an animal, cause me, I feel like I'm like a giraffe. Like I'm so, like I'm so tall, I'm so ahead of, ahead of my time. Sometimes people judge me like, cause I'm up here. Cause mm-hmm. you know, giraffes get automatically up, but people don't really know how they are. They're just big. And, yeah. yeah. So I, I feel like I'm a giraffe because I'm still finding myself up as people finding me out. So if I was to label my personality, I'd be a baby giraffe. Uh, what about you? I'm thinking, I feel like my personality is a little bit everywhere. I, I so would like it be like very a cat? situational? No, I feel like I'm more like loving than a cat is. So I feel like mm-hmm. that doesn't really fit. Maybe like, Is a fly weird to say? Mm. So a fly, we never know nothing about them for them, I know. but they're around. <laughs> I know. And you just swat at them, but they, it, they could be I'll, innocent. I'll leave. It's okay. Yeah, I'm innocent. Um, I kind of, I'm very observant. You might not see me there, but I'm kind of observant on everything. I'm low-key watching everything. Mm. You know, little, you just buzz away if something goes wrong. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I never thought about that before. I just made that up right now. Yeah, yeah, see? Yeah, that's what. So, <laughs> it, who's the most famous contact that you got in your phone? You was like, they was happy that you met them and they became a good friend. Like, that you never thought you'd meet. Uh, like, my example, I say a couple of you, like, um, meeting Kevin Hart. And then I got his yeah. number. And it was like, oh, like, I could call him. That's a great person. That you know, like I was like, damn, this is a famous contact I got there. Anytime I can leak your number if you don't give me 
five thousand dollars. Like, who was somebody uh, that you was like a contact? He was like, "Damn, I really just got their number." Uh, maybe Lil Uzi. Lo- oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that was a good he's one. Cool. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. cool. I always wonder how he was. Like, yeah, he just looked like he's just he could be a wrestler. I feel like he could wrestle. He definitely could. I feel like he'd be so fast, like very luchador, very mysterious type. Character. He'll just out quick everyone. I can see him being a tag team partner. I'd love to be a tag team. Uzi, let's tag team. That'd be that would be really good. That would be him. cool. I can see him get because they usually brand people over. Yeah. So, so one thing about superstars, they transfer over to acting. Mm-hmm. You see yourself doing that? Um, I'd like to try to. I've been mm-hmm. fortunate enough to do some projects outside of WWE and um, TV and film. And I definitely think that I'd like that to be my next step, like use my platform while I have it. So when I eventually get future endeavored, <laughs> mm-hmm. I already have my foot in the door here. So it's definitely something that I'm working on, but mm-hmm. who knows, we'll see. Yeah. So one thing that I know, and you know, I looked into you and I was like, I, cause I did some homework on you. So I know that uh-huh. you love a lot of <laughs> lace fronts. What made you like lace fronts? Oh, you know, I don't, do I like lace fronts? I like them on other people. I think they look nice. Uh-huh. I've never done one. So but you never wore a lace front? No. No. I, I I think I would try though, actually. But no, I'm too scared it'll get like ripped off in the ring. Oh. Yeah. Does my hair look like lace front? That's like a compliment. I'll take that. I don't know. I thought that it was like it said that you were like lace. Like, that was a thing that you were into that people didn't know. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Not particularly, but I, I enjoy that. I think that was probably Young Miami. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got to say Young Miami. Okay. When you wake up in the morning, what do you think about first thing? Oh, I'm like, oh, I gotta wake up right now. I'm, I love to sleep. I'm like a serial sleeper. I'll sleep 20 hours if you, you let fall me. asleep fast. Yeah. You do? Okay. Yeah, I do. I have no problem sleeping. Um, I'm, my first thought is like, it's a blessing to be awake, but damn, I gotta wake up right now. Okay. And then I just sit there. Like okay. Well, seconds. y'all heard it here first. Yeah. She has no problem sleeping. And she can go to sleep fast. So we're going to get into it. Thank you guys for tuning back in. We're going to see who can fall asleep first. Me. Let's do it. If I had a blanket, I'd for real All right. be out. I have gum in my mouth, though. I should spit it out. One time I fell asleep with gum in my mouth, and it wasn't good. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. That's crazy. Yeah, it got in my lace front. I remember one time I was trying to go to sleep, and my brother was asleep before me, and he peed. <laughs> And they got right next to me, and it was on me too. And they got on my drawers. He peed and, on you? Yeah. And we didn't know who peed, because I thought it was me at first, but it was him. But he peed so much, it took up the whole bed. Damn. <laughs> One time when I was trying to sleep, my brother took a BB gun and he filled it with spitballs and he shot me with it. And that shit hurt so bad. I hey. went back to sleep after it though. <laughs> Still slept. <laughs> What's what's a phrase that you didn't use and when you was uh when you was probably, you know, in a rant or like, you know, talking it and the moment where you said a word and then the fans took it and ran with it. It was like, oh, that's a good punchline. You got uh, a punchline that you use? I say watch me. Like, you know, like in 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 different kind of levels. Like watch me, like figuratively, like literally watch me. But so, also like, oh, if you don't believe me, watch me, bitch, you know. Uh oh. Prove me, like, let me prove you wrong. Watch me. Watch me, bitch. Yeah. It's Britney, bitch. Yeah. So you got t shirts that sell. Is that a merch line? Watch me. It is. It's watch me. Um, Cry about it. I love it when you watch me. A couple of different things we have. Cry about on. it. It sounds like a, like, it sound like a track list of songs. <laughs> yeah. So I used to, I used to come out with tears on my face. Um, not like prison tears, you know? but like more aesthetically pleasing glitter tears. And I had gotten injured. And so I was out for the last six months. And when I came back, I took away the tears because I'm not crying about it anymore. Now you could cry about it. You see what I did there? And so now we have a shirt that says cry about it, meaning you and not me, because I'm not crying anymore. Cause I just explained that. <laughs> you won? Yeah. Oh. yeah, I won. My story sucked, huh? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. I'm and glad we're awesome. awake again. Yeah, I know. That's the first thing I wake up in the morning. Um, and you're glad you're awake, right? One time, my uh, girl went through my phone. Mm. And the crazy part is... You didn't have a passcode? Yeah, I did. 
But the, thing is, the passcode is on the back of my phone just in case I forgot it. Oh, no. Yeah. Rookie mistake. Yeah, she went through it. But the thing was, I wasn't doing nothing in there. She just didn't like the fact that I wasn't doing nothing. And uh, she left me. Okay. And she was like, why the fuck you ain't cheating? Yeah. And I'm just sitting there like, what? Maybe because you're like famous, she expected you to cheat and to have other women in your phone. And so when you didn't, it was like, what the hell, I'm enough? Maybe she wasn't used to just like being enough. Yeah. Have so, you all talked? No, nah, she broke up with me because I didn't have, I was not cheating. And I never heard of that, but I know it's out there. Like you said, she probably, and then she was just kind of like, I maybe, <laughs> maybe she wanted to leave you for another reason, but she, she didn't. She didn't want to be honest, so she went on your phone expecting you to be cheating, but you weren't. She was like, "Damn, my plan didn't work." That probably is right. No, I think I think maybe she just wasn't used to being enough. You know, yeah. it wasn't your fault. You yeah. did the right thing. I know, right? Yeah. What What would you say your favorite artist is when it comes to music to get you ready for? The match. <sighs> Do you know what's so weird is I kind of, I'm either like silent, like I like radio silence. I really like to like focus on my thoughts. Oh, that's an artist too. I like that. Silence yeah. is good. You, uh -huh. Are you talking about the artist? No, just like silence in general, like in the world, just when it's quiet. I like to, you know, just like meditate and just really like get in my groove. Um, I do like Meek Mill Dreams and Nightmares though. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a, the one that hypes me up. Okay. You yeah. mind saying a lyric hmm. from there? Hmm? You mind saying a lyric from there? Yeah. Um, let me pick a good one. Well, I could start it, you know. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. When I brought that Aston Martin. I like the part where he said, uh, flexing on my haters. Yeah, flexing and on my haters. And y'all thought it was a minute. I've been in this bad bitch and I've been here for a minute. And then yeah. I actually, you know that, you don't want to know what that song was about? What? Dreams and Nightmares. So basically Meek Mill, and that's what I said, I like to look up people like yeah. documentary. Meek Mill, basically, you know, cause so it's Philadelphia. It, yes, yeah, it's, it's a documentary over it. So yeah. it was back in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. Dreams and Nightmares. So it was a club called Nightmares. Meek Mill had went there and when he was in the club, he had told them, play this song. Yeah. And then a person was like, no, nah. the DJ was like, no, we don't know who he you already, are. He already made the song. No. Okay. So the dude had said no. And he was just like, you want me to play that song? Go fucking dream about it. So the oh. club was called Nightmares. Yeah. So Meek Mill went back home and he made the diss, Dreams and Nightmares. He made a diss to the club. Yeah. And that's what it was about. And the oh. DJ name was. Um, I thought it was more like about you know, growing up, struggling, and making your dreams come true. I know, Meek Mill didn't struggle. Meek Mill was from the suburbs. Oh. Yeah, he grew up from the suburbs. So. Oh. I, I took the song a different way. I took it more as, like, triumphant, motivational, you know, I had yeah, all the Meek odds Mill against me, kid. but look at me, I did it. Yeah, nah, he's a good kid. a real student. Uh, but sometimes you have to betray that to For get... For sure, it's all character. It's all yeah, character. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's yeah. a good guy. I love him to death. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's cool. I don't know, but I like that song. Yeah. Uh, one of my songs to get me pumped and ready is, uh, what's that called? Uh, uh, are You Down? By who? Baby, are you down, down? Oh, Jay Sean? Down, down, down. Is that Jay Sean? Yeah. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? That's not Justin Bieber. It's No. I like Justin Bieber too, though. That's not Justin Bieber? No, I think that's Jay Sean. Is that? I think it's Jason. We can Google it. Down. Hey Siri. Huh? Who sings Baby Are You Down? I think it's just called Down. Down. Who sings Down? This is it right here. Jason. Uh. Haha. -ha. And Lil Wayne was on there too. I forgot about him. Jason is British. I didn't know that. He's British. Does he have more songs? Who the hell is Jay Sean? Is he? he sings, baby, are you down, down, down? I ain't never heard that song. I was saying, baby. <laughs> I meant, baby, baby, oh, baby. baby. Oh. I like that one too. Yeah. I um followed Justin Bieber on YouTube before he got famous. I was like one of those. 
I use a beaver. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Yeah, a be a be a bleeber. A yeah, yeah, I was a bleeber. Yeah, yeah. I still am. Really, yeah. Oh, uh, that's that's really nice. So yeah. the thing is, when everything be going up, and you just like, all right, everything going over, and you get the pick. Yeah. Over that way or this way. Get the pick it, what? Huh? Get the pick what? What's going going over what and picking what? <laughs> what do you mean? That's hard. What do you mean? I think that could be a phrase <laughs> in the wrestling. What do you mean? When somebody say something and you say that. I could already. do that. What do you mean? And maybe the yeah, crowd could even say and like, then look me, at the crowd, and like me. me. And then look at the crowd and see if they'll follow it up. Yeah, I'll do that for you. Like, if somebody say something like, I'm going to take your championship. And then you, like, what do you your belt. Mean? And then be like, what do you mean? I could do that. I don't have a championship right now, but when I get one, I could, I could do that. Or, or if somebody say that they're going to beat you. They're going to beat me up. What do you mean? Yeah, that. And then the arm. The arm to, like, keep it going. Yeah. Um, I could try it. Sometimes, like, mistakes and, like, little things that you don't think are going to get over, like, it hits, you know? And so you just never know. You just got to try things. It was, it was, so, one thing that I want to take back, when my grandma met my grandpa, and he came up, and I remember being with my, my grandma, mm -hmm. and when she got her boyfriend, and it was a guy that came up to her, and he was like, hey, girl, how you doing? My name is Charlie, last name Wilson. And he told her I was wondering if I can take you home. Show you a good time. In front of and, your grandpa? Huh? In front of your grandpa? No, my, my grandma. So I was with my grandma and, and her husband came up and said all Oh, her, your, your soon to be future grandpa. Yeah, so okay. I don't know. And he was like, hey girl, yeah. how you doing? My name is Charlie. Wilson. I was wondering if I can take you home, show you a good time, invite you to my home. And I didn't know if that was aggressive, how he came at her. What do you think about that? Um, I'm sorry, I feel like I have to burp, excuse me. Settled. Um, no, I don't think that's aggressive. I think that's okay. Like, uh, maybe take you home is a little bit aggressive, but like, hey girl, uh, I like to maybe develop Yeah, cause that seems like my name is Charlie. Eventually. And then I'm like, saying your first and last name is a little bit too much. Cause usually people don't introduce their first and last name. I don't mind that. Yeah. Cause if I want to Google you later, I, I want to know your last name. Mm -hmm. So it just helps when I'm doing research. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That's what I was wondering. I'm like, and then I was like, I'm going to ask a woman because in my head, I'm. I think it's okay. Yeah. Is Are they still together? Uh, Did they ever get together? Yeah, he took her. She didn't want to go to his house. Because yeah. he's like, I want to introduce you and take you to my home. And I was wondering. So he knew, he saw her and he knew. He was like, damn, I'm going to take her home, introduce her to the family. She's it. Yeah, and I just feel like that was a bit too much, like soon, like. It's it. a little soon. I it, it's like a little bit romantic to a degree. Like he put all his eggs in one basket, like it's her, you know. Yeah. So like I appreciate that a little bit, but it's a little bit far. Okay. And then here we go. Oh, here we go, y'all. Bob check. Bob Ooh. check. Bob Ooh. check. How is it? Is it good? I feel like it's good energy. Oh man, y'all. Oh, thank you guys for tuning in. We're far <laughs> back from Bob Check. And how you feel? How did you feel about the Bob Check? I thought you... it was good energy. Yeah. I thought it was good. Yeah. I, I feel chill right now. You know, this is just good vibes. Your outfit's good vibes. I think that helps. It was very colorful. Yeah. It, just it was in Miami, so it gives me like Miami. Like It gives Miami for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't, you know, I did walk by somebody's car and they said it looked like I, I could steal. And I'm like, oh, it look like I'm a thief. No. Well, well anyone could steal. But like, yeah. no. Your, to, your socks are even matching the hat. Like, it's all yeah. color coordinated. It's very good vibes. I used to steal so much. I used to steal so Did you? much. Yeah. Like, and it was a hobby. It was not that I liked to steal. It was I was so good at Can it. Can I get away with that? Yeah, yeah, it's just and you I want to do things that you're good at. Yeah, that's the thing. And I used to, but I didn't need it. I gave it back. I stole something, and I wondered, wonder if they, I, 
No, I just was putting it down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, the camera just, was on for some reason. I didn't know why, and I was yeah. like, that's weird. I, I know when I start talking about stealing, it was kind of hard. You had to start moving. And, no. Right? I, I used to steal, too, actually. Oh, you yeah. You think you're still better than me? Um, You know, I do. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I do. No, I, do. I used to still help somebody find it. Like, I'm but you, you would you would return what you stole, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like, I think I'm technically a better stealer just off of yeah. that. And I remember one time I went in the store and stole something that I, and the, like the wrong type of batteries. And then I was like, fuck, I That's had to go return it. That's inspired the B batteries, right? Huh? That's what inspired the B batteries. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What's the biggest thing that you stole and returned? Oh, the biggest thing that I stole, uh, PS5. Right when they came you returned out. it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Did, it, did it work? No, I really, I just, I, did it I just feel see, bad. Where, I, where'd you store it? Where'd huh? you put it? Oh, shit. You just walk out with it? Uh, I, in the cart. So what I did was, I didn't necessarily steal it. I put a price tag on it that was not really that. So I took a t-shirt like this. So oh, I would you do switched something, the price? I would do something like this, mm -hmm. super glue it, and then I would slap it on there on the box yeah. and scan it. And then I'll this run it for the price $22. Says, yeah. Yeah. You're right. I mean, that's yeah. the price on it. So it's but then I just get in the car and I feel so like guilty, all the shit that can come back on me. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, man. I'm going to take it back. It's good that you have a conscience yeah. with it. Yeah. I did it when I stole. Yeah. I was like, this is mine. Yeah. But well, I grew out of it. Yeah, because when you steal, it's technically yours now. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you give it back. No, because then if you don't know who stole it, you basically lost it. I can't comprehend that. <laughs> so, so if, if you if you if if like right now if yeah. my phone came up missing and you stole it but i think it's missing yeah. i lost it it's technically i don't know it's stolen okay. it's lost yeah so i didn't steal from you you lost the product yeah because in the lost and it came in my peripheral yeah and you didn't know it was my peripheral vision like, how you say it Perif peripheral yeah per peripheral yeah so when with that with the rest of me like do you mind asking and if if not, you don't want to answer it, we no. can cut it out, or you can just do a nod. Okay. Are you in a relationship, or are you just single? I'm single. Okay, so with you being in a spotlight, is it hard to date or find? Um, yeah, yeah, but I feel like also it's like, what are your priorities? Like right now, like my priorities are not to date. It's like to be mm -hmm. the best that I can be. Mm -hmm. And I know like I'm a little bit selfish with my time right now. Like I don't really want to give you my time and take away mm. from me trying to be Have you great. met good men? Like like yeah. somebody that's good? There's there's a lot of good men. Do and, you um, give like some people like chances? Like, let me see. Um, if you really blow me away. Like if, okay. if I'm blown away, then I it's like, oh maybe I will, you know, put effort into this. But like other than that, it's mostly like I'm just about my work and I just I'm trying to be great. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. You gonna introduce me to someone? Yeah, one moment. <laughs> Oh damn! I got curved already. Yo. Yo, so welcome. Yeah, you know you you know you ready for a relationship, ain't you? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, and why are you single right now? You feel like? Why am I single right now? <coughs> because uh, because do because uh, because bitches just be doing wrong, bro. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Well, you know, and I get that you go through that. I got let a me, young, beautiful me, lady that I would just like to say hi. Hold on. And just, you know, do your best. <clears throat> hi. Hello. How are you? What's your name? Where are you from? Ooh. Where I'm from? I'm from New Jersey. What's your name? Oh. Oh. Well, my name is Liv. Oh, what's up, Liz? What you it's Liv, not Liz, but I like Liz, too, but it's Liv. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that. Thank you. It's like loyalty and love on my mama. Yeah, I never, I never thought about that, but that's cool. On oh, my mama. So you're single too? Hell yeah. Why are you single? Why am I single? Mm-hmm. You said those bitches be crazy, right? I heard it. Just basically, I'm single because, well, my girl was just disrespectful. Ooh. Oh, let me see, like let me that. see, let me see. He said she was just like, Why are you bringing up old shit? Huh? Well, because he up, has hold trauma. Up. Yeah, see, She's now you still tripping off the ex. She ain't going to trip when she ain't fucking with you. Damn. <laughs> My bad. Hold on one second. I have trauma too. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes could, 
we could man, trauma bond together. Yeah, sometimes as a man, you can't even bring up. You know I respect that. I like honesty. I'd rather you like, let me know than you not let me know. Yeah, like, and that's what I said. Some people are like getting a man with, like, that's like, that knows, like, I'm done with it. And you just got to leave good, like, you got to leave good impression of what, like, your ex. It's like, yeah, we're good. We're not together no more, but she's good. So you got to watch out. I know, but like, that's how we really feel. So I'd rather know, like, he's still salty about his ex than me thinking that everything was copacetic and they broke up on good terms and I don't need to worry about it. But like, secretly, he's still like, Crying in his pillow at night because she was crazy. Yeah, that's what that's the thing, and that's. I think how, honesty is always better, even if the truth is terrible. I think it's better. Yeah, that's how I be, and that's what. Hey, yo, hey, you with your baby mama right now? Oh, you you think you ain't with nobody, huh? With my partner, you gotta do this Facebook video. Yeah, nah, you know how it is, man. I got some mic for you, real quick, real quick, real quick. Don't fuck it up. Hi. How are you? What's up? My name is Liv. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you have a baby? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Is it a boy or a girl? A girl. How old is she? Uh, two. Oh. Hey, Corey, tell her. Let that's you know. Where, hey, Corey, let her know where you're from. Like, really turn up on her. Let her know. I'm from New Orleans. Oh, really? Yeah. I've been there a couple times. Tell her what it'd be it's like nice. if, she, if, she, if she come over there and, you know, get with a real G. Let her know how it'd be. Man, what kind of get this? This better not be none of your fucking show, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We're, we're on the show, but he's trying to set me up with someone, and so he thought of you, and I guess that's a very nice compliment. You know, he thinks highly of you. It was very nice to meet you. I hope your daughter is doing amazing. Yeah, so this is part of his show. Let me see. Oh, uh, he wants he wants the phone back. Uh, nice meeting you. Why you fuck it up? Huh? Whisper it. That's going on. Bitch, that's going on the show? Yeah, we lie. No, don't do that. Why? Wow. Man, you're going to fuck it up. I don't do that. I can't do that. What do you mean? Man, my girl going to see this. I can't do that. Hold on, what do you mean? Where are y'all still together? No, my my girl, nigga, not her. Huh? No, no, no. I'm just saying, I know it's quiet. I thought they broke it up. Hold on. Yeah, I know you didn't. Know. So take it out, the episode? Yeah, 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 no, I can't do this one, bro. That's gonna fuck me all up. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Oh, that's why you you got back so you can see the baby and shit. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh. Because if I don't, it's over with from you with the baby vagina. Right and it's tax season oh, time, ain't it? <laughs> nah, for real, I can't. Don't, 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 don't do this one, bro. <laughs> yeah. We live. Hello? No one wants to be with me. Yeah, it's live. If you want to hang up, just hang up. Hello? Yeah, it, it. I think it's just... That was nice of you. But you see, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like no one really like... Um, oh, we're still going. Yeah. Okay. I, got, I could do another I one. got a good batch of men, like brothers. They just be... Some of them just going through shit. And they I just understand. need a woman I'm, I'm like, that's shit. very successful that can put them I in the right I appreciate that shoe. effort, though. Like, my boy, he just needs somebody to let, like, a girl let him borrow his car. Like, would you let a dude borrow your car? Yeah. Yeah. And he just wants somebody to borrow his car while he at work. While you go to work, he going to do his thing and don't bother him. And he going to come pick you up. Okay. That don't sound bad, do it. I like, I love to get picked up. Yeah. I don't want to drive. I didn't even drive here and I had my car. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. that's what I said. Letting somebody see your car while you're at work. Why they go do they one, two, boom, boom. Come back, you know, and come get you. But put the gas tank on think Are they, they going to, like, clean the house a little bit while yes, I'm gone? Okay. clean the house, too. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I got what she said. Uh, she'll let you use her car while she at work. And look, I'm, look, and she nice. Clean the house while I'm gone. Yeah, and you can just clean the house. Look, look, and she, she's in WWE. She... She in WrestleMania. Hold on, real quick. Talk to her real quick. Don't fuck it up. Real? Yeah, hold on. Hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Good. How are you? I'm Liv. Nice to meet you. Hey, oh, me. someone's Facetime me. Oh hold my gosh, hold she's on, wait, popular wait, wait. right now. Wait, what's your name? Hold on, I'm gonna get it. I don't, I, let me he hang was up on cute. Here. The last one calling back. Hold on, he clock blocking. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hold on. The other one was calling me. We're in trouble. He's letting you know. Nah, the other dude. We can't use this. Yeah. Man.
It's okay. Do you have any way I can spit my gum out? Uh, definitely. Can we get a napkin? Thanks. I just didn't want to swallow it. I used to swallow so much gum, and now I'm like, I, I can't swallow gum anymore. Yeah, because sometimes they can just get it stick. I heard that. It sticks. Yeah. I'm, I would have gotten oh, up and on. got it. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. I'm like, that's so hard, too, hold after on, look a while. Sexy. Look sexy. Look, hold on. Look sexy. Look sexy. Oh. Oh. You got it? Thank you. Okay, Thank you very much. Sexy. I'm sorry. Thank hold you. On. Here it is. Look sexy. Here it is. <sighs> Hello. Do you like the baby? Ooh. I never seen anyone do that move in person. He did the the eyebrow yeah. laid down. We're in Miami right now. Where y'all at? We're in Miami. Miami? Yeah. I'm about to come home. Come through. I'm about to come through. I'll be here for like another hour, I think. I got donuts. We could eat some donuts. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't think anyone's eating a donut yet. Okay. You got powder, powder donuts? Um, You know, actually, there's not a powder donut in there, but there's like a s'mores donut. I know it's not the same, but it's still really good. These are like, okay. these are more like gourmet, you know, like powder is great, but that's like, it's, it's a simple, it's like jelly, you know, it's like, these are like, these are like strawberry shortcake, s'mores, like, you know. A little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. He in the s'mores. You tell her about the time you go camping and shit too, right? What you talking about? No, I'm saying you go camping and you like s'mores and you go fishing. You like fishing, don't you? No, I like taking parts. No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, you don't. Hold on. You don't like take. No. Let her know that you <laughs> like going fishing and everything. Tell her about it. It looked like you were just going fishing with that hat on. He Listen. said he likes fishing. He said he's he's trying to start going fishing. Yeah. I've been going fishing. Yeah, he he said he's been going fishing. He huh? said he said like the reeling in the fish is like hard. No, that shit easy. <laughs> huh? You ain't never been on plenty of fish. The dating site. I put my mom on that dating site. Are you on the dating site? I'm, I'm about to come to Miami. Take your, take your profile down. Take your profile down. Get off the dating site. I'm about to get on the plane. Oh, you're not even in the state? No. Hey, from Detroit. Can you tell her? Can you teach her some Detroit lingo real quick? Yeah. Please? Hey, when I, when I get there, it's almost slow. No, 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 no. Tell her the words and what they mean. And have her say them back to you, please. You know what dog shit is? Dog shit? Um, just like, I know it as like dog feces, but I'm sure there's like another. And it, it is, in Detroit, it's like, if you say you got that dog shit on you, you got them bands on you. you oh, God. Really? I never would have put that together. You got that dog shit on you? Ooh, he said he got it on him. You got that dog shit, Marco? He's yeah, tell her the other words. Tell her the other words. That dog shit is on the floor. It's on the flow. What is that like? When you say it's on the flow, that mean like it's up. Okay. Like it's like. Uh, you, you, you down. You down with it. You down. Oh, like I'm like, I like okay. Like I will partake. Like I'm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We bring people, we be like, what up, though? What up, though? Yeah. I mean, what I say that up? sometimes too. Yeah. And then we would be like, what up, though, my baby? And you just keep saying it back and forth, like "What up, though?" And then yeah, you say you "What up, though?" Detroit, what up, though? Okay, thank you. I go to Detroit kind of a lot, so now I feel like I have new words that I can use to people in Detroit, and you know, I'll just. You gotta start saying you got that dog shit on you. Gotta you got that dog you. shit on you. I feel like. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta pull off the rack and be like, "I got that dog shit on." Me. Okay. Okay. Why? Why is it dog shit though? Because I feel like that's like a that's like a bad term, you know? Why is why is Rax dog shit? I feel like that's good. I don't know. It's just something we say. Okay. I don't know. I'm Not everything sure. needs like a explanation. I get it. Yes, ma'am. It was nice meeting you. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, Marco. Marco. Yeah. You got that dog shit on you. Yeah. I don't think he hey, got it right now on him. What you think about her? What you think about her? Be honest. No, tell me, whisper it to me. That's rude. She whispering kind of people. Get her. 
You should get hurt, man. Nah, la la. What? I'm talking about, about for you. I'm talking about you. You should get her, nah, la la. Oh, you said, you think uh, it's my type? Yeah, it's your type, man. You don't want it? Call me later, man. Just call me later. Yeah. So, yeah, this, you know, we be vibing. Yeah. Yeah. I like your personality. Thank and you. And I feel like you are best fit for any, And I can see you in movie roles. I can't wait to turn, like, take out to that journey as, like, The Rock did when you did that I movie hope star so. from Superstar. No, not hope. We're going to do it. Thank you. We don't use the word hope. You're going to do it because it's in you. And yes. you deserve it. Thank you. Yeah. And I deserve it. And we want to tell you right now, we're going to look into this camera and let them know the next movie role. We want you guys. What is a character you want to play? You feel like your first movie role? Uh, I feel like I'm open to anything really. And I know you that's a not like the movie. answer. A comedy movie. I think a rom com would be great. I think anything with physicality, like I can do just because of my background in WWE. You know, anything okay. physical. Would be so right cool. now we're gonna look into the camera, and yeah. I'm gonna be your agent, and we're okay. gonna act sad, and we're gonna tell the movie directors to come get you. So I just want you and your sad boys to be like, yeah, I really want to act. Okay. So here we go, y'all. It's your guy Marco, and I'm here with the one and only Liv. And for the directors out there, man, she's been working hard. She's been grinding. Great actor. And let them know why they should pick you up for the next film. It's because I want it. And I know that that is such an answer that everyone gives, but everything that I do is for my family. I know that at the end of the day, when I'm done with WWE, I have my whole entire family to take care of, and I do that so willingly. So I just, I just need some opportunity. I, I will rise to the occasion. I will put in all the fucking work that I need to put in. I just need an opportunity. I need an opportunity to be great. And we're gonna add sad music on that too. Yeah. I wonder why he called back. Yeah, we're gonna add. He called back. Yeah, the other no, the first one. Called the first back. one. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, you fucked. You already had fucked up. Damn, maybe this will work out. Like he just <laughs> he fucked up. Yeah. What, what's going on? Yeah, you fucked up. You brought up your ex. Huh? I said you fucked up. You brought up your ex. Bro, give her back the phone, bro. Why? What are you going to say different? Huh? What are you going to say different? I'm going to say I apologize. I don't, I, I still, I never fucked with my ex, bro. She even went back to South Carolina. Fuck her. How you know where she at? Huh? How you know she where she at if you don't fuck with her? Because, the spot I got her, she left that spot literally. Oh, you yeah. bought her. Oh, you bought her a house. Yeah, I got her a little, like a little. Yeah, spot. you bought her a house, right? She, you like you own her. How many properties you own? Huh? How many properties you own again? Huh? How many properties do you own? Properties. How many properties I own? I own like three, four properties. Type okay, shit. and then what's one of the addresses? Like to Airbnb, the spot, shit like you own one in Miami too. That's where she's from. Like she's here in oh, Miami. Yeah. Should, we, should we pull up? Yeah. What's up with you? Excuse me. Oh my god, it's dying. Excuse <laughs> Look, me. Look, you gonna get <laughs> Look, yeah, yeah, you got you. Look, 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 look. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh. All right, look, okay, hold on. We like hogging corporate over here. Okay. Um yeah, so the movie directors, I want you guys to tap in. Tap it's in. very important. Give me some auditions. Oh, who calling? Let's pick up. Let's see. My water company? Yeah, let's pick up. Let's, if you don't mind. Hello? Hello? Oh, wow. Oh, damn. But you yeah. got your own water? Yeah, from, from, my, from my house. I had to, you know, turn on water. Oh, damn. So I could have water. I thought you had your own brand. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh shit! No. Oh, my water company. I yeah, can that's see what I'm that. promoting. No. <laughs> oh gosh, I wish I had a water company. No, it's um, I bought a rental property, and I guess I have to pay the water bill. Oh. So I'm assuming that's what it was. Oh shit! I yeah. thought it was you. Is there any, cool, but any... I have a candle company. Let yeah. me know about it and where to get it. Oh, okay, so I have a candle company. It's all vegan, all natural, all organic ingredients. Um, I do candles, soaps, whipped And body one thing butters. about it, we this is gonna sell out. Where can they get this at? Shoplivemore.shop. And have it ever been sold out? Can it get sold out? Yeah. Okay. I, I, only, I make it myself with my hands, you know, so I can only do so many. So I don't make 
hundreds and hundreds, but I make a couple So you get a hundred in and a billion, like you get, let's say you get like damn near 4,000. That'd be great. I'm not making 4,000. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is yeah. we're going to get 4,000 orders, y'all, from y'all to us. We're going to get 4,000 because when they come in, now what? Then what you going to well, do? Well, so what I do is because like that could be a huge issue because my little hands can't make 4,000, you know? So what I do is I'll cap it. I'll make a certain amount and then I'm like, these are for sale. So what's the cap? What's going to be the cap? Probably like 450. Okay, four fifty. So like a lot less than like four thousand, but you know it's okay, like something well, I do gonna, for fun. Let's do a thousand. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's good stuff. So we're gonna know, cap a thousand. Well, we dropped this up, so we got a thousand right there because we're gonna sell out. Okay. And then when it sell out, that's why I want you to be like, oh my god, it really happened. So right now for us to sell out, one thing about it, when you do stuff sad again, it always happens. Yeah. So we're gonna go into it. Oh my god, y'all, we have a business that we've been working on and it's not has been doing good. And let them know where they can find it at. Guys, I, you know, all my extra time and money goes into this Saturn, small Saturn, business Saturn, Saturn. that I have. And um, I know times are really hard right now, so I hate to sit here and ask you to buy things because I just know, you know, with the economy, economy right now, I can't even talk on my soap set. I know it's rough. And um, I just put my time and effort into making these these homemade organic candles, hopefully that you enjoy. Um, no toxins. It's vegan, all natural. So I think, you know, there's definitely a plus side to it. Um, I make it myself. With my own hands, I pack them, ship them, send them straight to your house. It's a lot of work and effort, and I would love if anyone would like to to buy a candle from me, please. And the link is in your bio? Yeah, it's on my website. It's on, if you go on my Instagram and look at the website, it's shoplivemore.shop. You see what I did there? I did like a play on my yeah. name, Liv Morgan, shop live more. Yeah, shop. Uh, shop more. Yeah, Morgan. I try to, you know, make it. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What time is it? Uh, oh, yeah. It's still early. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. And we're going to see you at Wrestling Mania. Is that it? Huh? We're done? I feel like we like we covered a lot of things. Okay. And I got to know you. Okay. And they got to know you. Do you feel you. like you know me a little? A little yeah, I definitely know. You're okay. very I was, sweetheart. I was honest. With everything. You're a sweetheart. Thank you. You're very so sweetheart. Are you. And I feel like right when you, when you do get the right man, he's going to love you to death. He's not going nowhere. He's yes. definitely going to stay. And, you know, he'll probably, and before I go, I want to ask you a question and let me know how this happened. Basically, my sister had a boyfriend. Well, she has a baby daddy. Yeah. And her baby daddy got her a car Mm -hmm. and it was hers. He took the car and he put rims on her car. Okay. So he put rims on it and he got her car and he drove it and took it when they got into it. And then she came back and took the car and he called her and said, somebody just stole the car. And she said, I got my car, Jody. Who's in the wrong? Uh, is anyone in the wrong? Because he's saying basically she shouldn't have took it. She stole no, her, it's car her car. Back. It's her car. But he put rims on it. Yeah, it's her car. You can't give gives and take it back. It's her car. Even he, if you put rims. I know. And that's special and that's nice of you. But it's her car. And could you send Jody a message? That's my cousin, just to let him know. What? Like, if you can send Jody, because Jody feel like he's right. If you can talk to Jody and let him know how you feel about it and what he should do, if you can let him know. He's your cousin? Yeah. Okay. Um, Jody, uh, I see what you did there. It's a very nice thing that you did for your cousin? No, it's his baby mama. I thought you said it was your sister. No, so it's my sister, but that's his baby mama. So her name Yvette. Like so, your blood sister or like your no, sister? No, no. I just call it because that's my brother. Okay. So Jody and Yvette it, are it, together. It. Okay, I understand. It was Yvette car. He bought her the car, right? And then he put rims on the car. And then he had it. And then he had the car. He caught, And then she came back and took the car. He yeah. woke up and said, yo, somebody call the motherfucking police. Somebody took the motherfucking car. She said, I stole the car, Jody. Yeah. And then he got upset. To she shouldn't like, have said stole, but like, yeah. Jody, I think what you did was great. I think you really, you, you stepped up. You made sure she had a car, drive around. You guys have the kid. I understand it's a great thing, but even if you put rims on it, it's still her car. Maybe she should have told you she was taking it, but it's her car, but that's good on you. Hopefully that helps a little bit to, you know, break the tension. And then her baby daddy. So she got another, mm-hmm. she had a boyfriend that went to jail. Mm-hmm. And remember they was together. Yeah. He went to jail. He calling her collect. 
and he told her, put a motherfucking block on the phone so he don't call, mm -hmm. but he kept calling. Is she going back to him? No, but she didn't put a block on the motherfucking phone. Ooh. I don't know. It's like, it must be rough to be in jail, you know? It's probably yeah, lonely. but she, but, but. Yeah, but they have the kids together. They have to coordinate no, 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 about no, the kids. No, 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 no. This her ex boyfriend. Not baby daddy. No. Oh. Ex boyfriend. So that's my brother girlfriend, remember? Um, I don't know there. I don't know there. I don't know there. Jail is lonely. Yeah. But I don't know. That might be. Uh, I might not be able to help there. Yeah. And then he got out of jail, right? Mm hmm. He got out of jail and came and lived with my brother, baby mama, Yvette. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want him there, but he told the people that's where he gonna live. So they was like, sorry, ma'am, he gotta stay here. Yeah. So now he's staying at Yvette house. What's his name again? Rodney. Rodney is staying at Yvette house. And then Jody went back to his mama house. Jody is into it with her, his mama boyfriend. The boyfriend puts him in a headlock. Ooh, and a proper headlock. Exactly. Now, the boyfriend is like, your son gotta get the fuck out. The son end up riding his bike to go buy some a beer, see a group of kids, they take his bike. Again, this is my brother again, uh -huh. Jody. Jody comes out and he's like, who the fuck took my bike? Then they're like, you can have his bike, punk. Threw the bike down. Beat up Jody, my brother. Jody rides the bike all the way to his friend's house. His friend said, who the fuck, who jumped you? He said, some little guys jumped me, man. They got together, went back to the dudes that jumped them, and then they whooped the kids. Mm -hmm. Like, they grown up, they was grown. They was grown, like, like, grown, t like 30. Yeah, you can't hit kids. Yeah, they not kids, but they was acting like kids, but they was 30. I wanted to follow that so bad, but I couldn't. Yeah. I wanted to really be Understand on there it. with yeah. you, but I, it, there was a lot in there. Yeah. I hope everything works out That could out, be though. a movie though. Yeah, you should write a script on it. Yeah, that, call it Baby Boy. Baby Mama, Baby Boy, What yeah. Up Though. A shit on the flow, dog yeah. shit. Yeah, dog shit. Yeah. 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 We'll yeah. figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I want you guys to tune in and I'm, I'm thankful to sit down with you and have this I'm moment. thankful too. You were so yeah. lovely. It was nice to meet you. No, you Thank no. you for like the time. This is, this is definitely going to have moments where people get to learn me and get to learn you. Hopefully. And that's what it's about. Yeah. No, not hopefully. We got it. We yeah, got it. we got it. You're a superstar. Thank you. So are you. Yeah. And before we go, what is something that you can tell the people that's up and coming that's want to get into wrestling, WE? What is something that you can let them know? Ooh. Okay, well, I think just honestly, um, wrestling, it doesn't have like norms anymore. You don't need to look a certain way. You don't need to be a certain way. I think a sure way to try to make your dreams happen is to believe in yourself and just follow through even when it feels like impossible and like you'll never make it. I think that's when it's important to really um, have fire the most and just to push forward. Um, I think if I could make my dreams come true, anyone could make their dreams come true. If you look at my life on paper, I should not be here. You should. But I somehow finessed my way here and I just think that um, I just hope if anyone sees me or learns a little bit about my story It's that you can 100% make your dreams come true even if they seem impossible. So just 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 keep pushing and um, work your hardest It's a mindset thing. It's a mindset thing 100% 100% It's mindset over skill mindset over ability mindset over circumstance mindset over a situation You got to have a strong mindset, but I believe mindset over everything. You're right. Yep. I see it so there you guys go. It's the mindset thing. One and only wrestling media. Back to you, Dan. I don't know who Dan is. I just like saying it's that. It's okay. So it sounds like it's, it's like a TV show. It's like a send off. Back to you, Dan. We do that too. Yeah. And then I'm going to fuck around be Dan. Yeah. Back to you, Dan.